everyone. Welcome to Cyber Skill Farm. Oh, today we will discuss about editing sudoers permission in Linux. So I'll just have to share my screen. Okay, so your screen sharing. So I think my screen already shared. So let's begin. So what do we learn here? We learn on editing pseudo permission type of aliases in CentOS, adding custom roles, and we'll have a laboratory after. So the terms here include uh, what what are the pseudo words? So you in the pseudo words file you can set uh, certain permissions like what command uh, will just the user will be able to access or directories or execute so you can also set here uh the super users so you can set uh everything access everything just uh, like the root permissions so what is vsudo so vsudo uh, this is the editor used to edit the sudoers file so uh, if you want to locate where the sudoers file it's in the etc slash etc slash slash sudoers but if you want to edit this file you must always use vsudo which directs you to etc sudoers so why will we do that why will we do that because uh vsudo has certain permissions uh, has certain checking capability which warns you that this file must not be put into sudoers file because it will break the system so as you see here uh, improper syntax syntax here in etc sudoers can leave you with broken system where it is impossible to obtain elevated privileges so if you see the image here when you do a VC, vsudo and i put here certain commands like letters or what which is unnecessary it will prompt that there is a syntax error near line line one so let's say for example i have a B, vmware here so let's go here and type vsudo wait i will i will go to the root so vsudo and then i will type here some letters a a so if we'll write and then escape and then save here it will tell you that there is an error on line one so if you put some letters here enter so there's edit to the file or exit without saving changes or click and save in the sudoers file which warns you that there will be danger if you save it directly so you must edit the sudo again so that's the use of vsudo so let's not save it let's just uh exit without changing the sudoers file so let's go back to the presentation so here in the presentation uh we will have the slideshow again and then here oh, how to give a pseudo uh, user pseudo privileges so in centos there are group called wheel the wheel uh it, this wheel has a super user access like of that root if you see here in the screen uh root has the all privileges and as well as the group wheel the percent before the wheel only means that the wheel is a group not a user so when you add a user into the wheel you can set you can set a permission same as the root for example you you need to add user raymond uh, configure the users to be one of the sudoers or the super users so you can add it user add negative minus a image which means append append the group wheel to raymond you can also uh, set it like this. You can add Raymond, and then afterwards, you can modify its settings by adding the group 
will to adding Raymond to the group will. So how can we set up a custom roles in for users? So aliases are group are used in grouping users, host and group and group uh, users, host groups and command. So you can group some you can group certain users and hosts. For example, for host aliases, you can list host name, IP address, network, and net groups. So you can have here host aliases. And then if you want to add a certain host alias, you can just remove the comment tag, which is the hashtag. If you remove the hashtag sign it, you can con this means that a uh, host alias had been just recently enabled. So host alias file servers, then host alias mail survey servers SMTP. For example, here, the host, I just add host alias here. So if you want to add uh, servers as host alias, so you can just remove the hashtag sign here. I just put the hashtag sign here just not to activate the host alias. So servers, which includes the IP of 192.168.0.5, then 10.0.0.1. Then if you want to add the database network, which is a network address, you can add here database network and include the subnet mask here. And if you don't want to find to add certain permission like the file server users into the specific devices host alias, you can just put exclamation before the name. So here for the specific devices host alias, you, you just add the network, but not include the file servers. For the user alias, uh, use to group certain users to provide custom roles. So here I added the here I added the user alias users, the user alias admin, and the user alias limited. So if you want to activate this, just delete the hashtag sign here and the users alias, uh, the users name, Micah and Raymond will be activated. And last one for the command aliases, used to specify list of commands and directories enabled or disabled. So here for example the networking you want to group uh, permission for these certain commands or directories in including network so you can delete the hashtag sign here to enable this command alias for so for the user specific specifications this is where we add custom permission to certain groups host users and servers so for example uh you you just added a uh, a certain group here and then you can edit it like this one so for the root you can all users in the root had all permissions in the system, just like as the wheel user. We can tackle that more later. So for the laboratory, we have a scenario here. So the scenario is just like this. Sonia and Frank are newly interned for company XYZ. As a root admin, you just want to give them permission to read log messages of Linux machine. There is previous incident happened giving the intern super user permissions. As the root admin, you must also set the manager a super user permission and ad admin permission for the software services and processes. So here is the laboratory. So we have to add Jack, Jill, Sonia, Riza, Cyber, and Frank as users. So let's go to our VMware. So if we want to add this, let's use, let's just use a script. 
So I will just use a for loop here. So for, let's use a as the variable for a in Jock, Jill, Sonia, Riza, Cyber, Frank. So let's do do echo user add do echo adding user user and then we will have to call the variable a which is included for jack jill sonia riza so for adding user a okay and then let's do the command user add minus m which put puts it in the home user directory so home a user add a string a then so we're just adding user here so if you look at the home directory directory here they are automatically been added because when you first add it when you add user for a first time, they will be on the home directory. So here are the Cyber, Cyber Frank, Jack Jill, Riza, and Sonia. So let's go again there. So next uh, challenge here is to set their group like this. So Jack uh, must be included in the group admin managers and stop, Jill in admin stop, Sonia intern stop, Riza new stop and Frank intern stop. So before we will go into add specific user to group, we must first add the groups. So groups are still not yet existing. So let's go to the v v VMware. So for G, or let's just say for group to avoid confusion. So for group in admin managers stuff in stop interns then i forgot what is it intern new intern then new so do user do echo adding group group then we will call group the one that we set a while ago group okay then let's do here it's just an indication that we are adding a group then we'll add here the actual command group add let's group add the group the list of group yeah okay done So after adding those group, we will now set the, the permission. So the permission here is, wait, I will just check. Riza is a new stuff. So let's go. new let's go so user mod user so user mod which it that user mod only means that we will add or modify some settings on the users so we will add uh minus g means secondary group so we will add admin manager stuff group to jack oh what happened i think it's managers not manager so okay and then i already had some commands here so we'll just paste it And then afterwards, we'll have the, what is the next step here? So after adding uh, some users 
to specific group. So let's do add a new command alias for the users for, to, for them to be enabled to check the var log messages. So if you want to know what var log messages is, so it's a directory where you'll find logs of what is happening in the system. So let's go and edit the vsudo's file. So vsudo. And then what is the scenario here? So we will add a command alias for messages. Let's go and go to cmnd alias. So let's go here. Let's just edit on the last part. Let's uh, type letter I to insert, then enter hashtag for, for us to be able to comment messages log. So let's just let's just put here CMND alias. So let's name it as messages. So message, messages is equals to, so what command are we going? Bin tail is to, to command to just search the last part of the var log messages. So bin tail negative F minus F var log messages. So we will not, we are now done with number three. The number four, uh, enable super user privileges for the following local group. So the manager group has everything, permission, and the admin group has just permission for software services and processes, and the intern has just access to or read permission to messages. So let's do that. So let's let's type escape and then slash slash software i'm finding software command alias because in the direction we'll be using the software services and processes to the admin group the percent sign here just means that uh this this uh word is a group but if you don't have percent it at the beginning this means that it is a user so let's go to the vmware and then let's click i for insert and then we will just remove the command the hashtag sign here to activate the software. So in the software, you have the privilege to bin RPM, bin update, and bin yum. And for the services, just remove the hashtag sign here. Or the number sign, which enables the user with these privileges to access this command. And then the processes. So here, we just remove the hashtag or the number sign for the user to access the kill or kill certain processes or uh, change the priority, which is the nice of certain process. And we have also here the messages, which is already activated. So afterwards, we will move now to set a custom permissions. In the set uh i remember that i discussed it in setting custom permissions here but here in image in this image we only see a uh, permissions like all all so it's just a permission like uh like that of root and will so we'll have now to set a custom permissions like the admin has just access to software services and processes and the intern has have just access to messages take note that these software services processes and messages are are just edited a while ago it's 
it, it is a command alias. So let's do it. So the managers have access to everything. So we'll just go to the wheel access for us. Let's search wheel. So here is the wheel I searched. And let's enter. And then it said it says that managers have access to everything. So the group managers and then tab or space, whatever command, it's just same. So all equals all. So same access as the wheel, and then all. Because managers has access to everything. And the next one is the admin. So for the admin, let's go to the VMware again. So percent admin. Admin, all admin users has just access to software services and processes. So like uh, what I said here in the admin has just access to command alias software services and processes. So let's go here. All have software software services and processes the next the scenario here intern has just access to messages of course because his interns cannot access cannot be a super users they can just access the bar log messages intern the all equals messages I forgot if the term I use is message or messages. If you put, if you see here, the command alias is messages. So I will put here in the intern messages. And then that's it. So let's escape and then double that, right, quit, then exclamation point. So Visudo already been edited and there is no warning. That means that the one, the, the text or the certain permissions that we put in the Sudoverse file are all correct and has no, cannot uh, damage the ETC Sudoverse file. So let's test it. Uh, I forgot to and no other access included so it must not have access to software services and processes because it's just it's just allowed to admin groups so what user belong to intern group so let's say sonia sonia belong to intern group so let's test her access you must be able to execute the bin tail command because it's part of the messages command alias and she must not able to execute uh, directories or command in software services and processes so let's begin so let's go to sonia user su minus sonia we are now in sonia and then uh, we can execute this var log message. So she must be able to do that. So let's sudo bin tail minus f var log message. So the password is... So it's successful. She, she was able to read the last part of the var log messages because the bin tail on detail us to see the messages of the last part of var log messages. So yes, it's successful. But there is another restri restriction here in which she must not be able to access the the software service and processes command we set up in the command alias. So 
here in Visu, though, let's check again what. Wait, it's not, she's not allowed to do Visu, though. But I copied, I copied the command alias software and services here, in which she must not be able to access one of the following. So let's say, for example, the status, because we put here that she must not be able to access the status of the services. So let's copy this command and then let's run sudo. sudo user bin system CTL status. So let's say it said that sorry user is not allowed to execute user bin system CTLC status. So it's correct. Uh, she had been denied to user bin system CTL status. So let's go here and execute system CTL reload, which will, which will possibly reload the whole Linux system. So it will be a big incident when the this system had been re rebooted. So sudo system CTL. So she was not able to access as well, which is a very good. So let's uh, check on with the other user. User, what we have example here is the admin. The admin must be able to access software services and processes command alias, whereas uh, admin has no access to messages, the bin tail bar log messages. So let's see if the messages will be denied and the software services and processes will be available for the admin in which I said that Jill is part of admin. So let's log in as Jill. So, so minus Jill. So we are now in Jill and then he must be able to check the status of the system CTL. We had tested it a while ago for Sonia and it had been denied, but in Jill this must be permitted. So let's go sudo user bin system CTL status. So it's successful. Jim was able to check the status in the system CTL. So let's go here and then check if he has access to messages log because we just put a uh, permission on messages to intern groups. So admin must not be able to access it. So let's go and check. So sudo bin tail minus f for log messages. So it's okay that Jill had been denied to access var log messages. So our permission is good and it's working. And let's test for managers. Managers has, has access to everything. So if we look at it in Visudo, let's go to group managers. Managers has access to all. So you must have access either in messages, software services, processes, anything. So let's check who whose user is connect is uh, included in managers. So it's Jack. So let's log in as Jack. So let's go and take a sudo bin deal minus f for log for log messages. So Jack had been able to access for log messages, so it's successful. And then she must also be able to do, uh, to check the status of the system CTL. So sudo user bin system CTL status. So sudo slash user slash bin system CTL status. So it's successful. Jack has access as well to 
uh, user bin system CTL, which is in the command alias services. So that's it. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. So if you want to tackle more lessons about Linux and uh, RHSA uh, topics, you can comment here and I will do my presentations or tutorial about this. Yeah.